so hey hello guys welcome back to devlab.ai so guys in this video we are going to solve identify all sources or humans with tensorflow and vertex ai so guys if you are new to the channel please make sure that please like and subscribe to the channel as well as hit the bell icon to get more updated videos based on cloud as well as ai guys so guys this latest participant i am going to be used by the subscribers so please do like this video as well as subscribe to the channel so it will be more motivated to, to solve solution based on cloud as well as ai guys do subscribe guys so let me log into your credentials before that so right click on this open the cloud google cloud console in another mode here so after that what to be done and how to be done i am going to teach you so follow the video instructions very carefully and start to apply in your lab click on i understand here so after clicking i understand here so wait for a second here so click on agree and continue here so after clicking agree and continue at the left side you have an uh, navigation pane here okay so in the navigation you can see here uh, vertex ai so under this vertex i click on this workbench so after clicking the workbench here, what to be done is that so click open your jupyter lab in your lab here okay so remove this remove this so now open your jupyter lab in your notebook here okay wait for a second it may take some time for loading jupyter lab so until then just come back to your lab guys here so I, I will be providing a link in description so get access of github link guys so just come back to github repo and start downloading this um this tensorflow using convolutions with complex images okay so we have been trained many of ourselves and everything of human images so just download click on this download icon so which will be provided link in description so get access of uh, that link okay github link so after downloading that just come back to your uh, jupyter lab account here so after wait for a second there it is still under process here to get uh, executed here So now guys after ex uh, launching this jupyter lab here in your lab so just you can see cls underscore vertex ai folder here okay right click on this and delete this okay so you need to delete this file here so after deleting this find it file here so you need to click on this import here so click on this recently download a csl which i've been set in the github report to be downloaded so click on that and download that and it will be saved in a local system so click on that and click on open here so after that it may take some time for uh, updating this so wait for a second here So now guys it has been updated here so double click on this so it may take uh, give some error here okay so dismiss this and click once again here so again this may say if you get any error like this what to be done just click on again import this file and uh, again click save the file and click on open so it may ask for rewrite okay overwrite here so click on this overwrite here so after overwriting here so wait for a second here yeah guys now it has been updated here so cl double click on this so it may give some time error here so no need to panic here so they just double click on this so or else do one thing just remove once again here so sometimes it is give some error guys don't uh, worry this this uh, click on open here let it update once again here So after updating this refresh once again here so no need of refreshing here double click on this again dismiss and re-upload this file here so overwrite this file and wait for a second here to be get updated here so finally it has been updated here you can see here double click on this and you can see everything so now guys here we must be in a python 3 kernel and it is a uh, cell here so each and every cell must be included and downloaded and then to be trained in this model okay so you can see python 3 kernel it must be as a local system so every image has to be trained here so what to be done click on this and click on shift enter here so after clicking shift enter you start to install every pip commands and and its requirements here so wait for a second until get everything executed here okay So now guys first cell has been executed here you can see here 
so I'm letting move for the second cell here so wait for a second yeah it has been executed yet now click on the second cell and click on shift enter yet so after clicking it start to download in everything here uh the what is this uh pro to buff here so wait for a second it has been installed yet so let me move for third cell here so it is a restart of a python kernel so click on shift enter yet so it asks for restart so give it access yet so click on ok yet so your python 3 kernel will be uh, restarting yet so after then let me move for another one yet so click on the another cell and click on shift enter yet so after clicking shift enter it start to execute yet so again click another cell click on shift enter yet so after that it start to execute here you can see the project id click on overwrite here so after clicking overwrite here so let me move for another third cell here so now continuously hold your shift and keep entering this every cell so until the end it comes and they start to execute here you can see the python color is empty right now so now so click on shift and start enter every cell to be executed and to be trained the model okay until the last cell so finally we have been uh, done with until the last cell so you can see the cell is being executing here you can see 13 out of 31 it is given here 31 cells must be executed here so it may take some to 45 to 60 minutes 50 minutes so please have a patience please don't uh, shut down your system or else have a uh, sleep in your system so your screen must be active so that every cell must be executed and its requirements must be downloaded so let's uh, have a patience and really wait for this and if you not a subscribe please do subscribe to the channel as well as hit a bell icon to, to get more updated videos and if you like this video please do like this video also guys So now guys you can see this our lab has been executed means not totally but also it has been executed here you can see here but the python kernel 3 kernel has been here at the local it has been uh, restarted and it is stopped here so you can see this but also at the left side you can see this the batches and the folders of prediction results and tensorflow data sets has been installed here you can see here um, batches predictions and uh, tensorflow as well as the predictions so all are installed here so so i hope so it has been done and let me move and let me check our progress here so click on check my progress uh, here we got everything green tick here without any issue let me move for task number one here and click on check my progress and you will get a green tick without any issue so click on check my progress and you will get a green tick without any issue here so click on check my progress and you will get a green tick without any issue here so finally we have been completely lab so if you face an, any error or else any uh, issues please do comment in the comment section so that i could be uh, able to answer as well as do join our telegram as well as whatsapp every video is update and any queries to be solved and uh, uh, to be find solutions to so do join our telegram as well as whatsapp community guys so let me move on next video guys thank you